Well, Trent Zuberry, I got one question for you. What do you got, Tyler? Who wants to get laid? Hey, we're all getting laid in the Berwyn Eagles Club tonight. Look at this. We are live, AAW Alive, emanating from the Berwyn Eagles Club, fresh off a historic night of the 2023 Jim Lina Memorial Tournament, where we saw a tournament winner crowned, and now we have our eyes set on the Windy City Classic, December 30th, back here at the Berwyn Eagles Club. Just days away, the AAW Championship will be on the line. But speaking of the action in the ring right now, AAW Alive, you have sexy violence, Quinn Wittick, Kicking it off for his six-man team against one half a twist and flip, Darren Fly. Look, you know, this is the youth. Huh? I love seeing this because this is where a lot of guys in the tournament that we saw last year, we, we just saw uh, all these guys in the tournament. They started, a lot of guys that started on a line. This could be your next crop of a line. Oh. Or of the tournament, I should say. Quinn Wittick, we've seen him here in AAW before. Um, a mixed bag of results. He did lose, of course, a tag team match alongside Sean Logan against Maggie Lee and Chico Suave, who you'll see in action later on tonight. Um, has a very unique style, but right now the team of Twist and Flip using that tag team acumen as Nate Cobain charges in with a clothesline in the corner. The Hawaiian hitman Koa Laksamana trips him up on the outside. Look at that, look at that. I love seeing tag team work like We don't see a lot of it these days. It's a little scarce these days, but you see a team come out like oh. this. Unbelievable, look at, the, look at the, the communication. It's like they know what each other's gonna do. Love it. Only a count of two, Cobain with that hesitation drop kick. But let's let's roll the time back a little bit. Let's talk about that Jim Lyon Memorial Tournament. Let's talk about that night. You know, I'm a, a unprecedented night of action. A first for AAW. We had four-way matches that determined the finals. You had a, a four-way dance elimination match to determine the winner of the Jim Lyon Memorial Tournament. And I think uh, I think Big Beef Gnarls Garvin has a little something else in mind for John Bravo and the family as Quinn Wittick levels one half a twist and flip. Unsettled business over there, but we went, it was a unique tournament this year, Tyler. It really was. We had some different kind of matchups, very unlike other years, and it's, it's very unique. The fans are still reeling about it. And you can catch, of course, the replay of that on High Spots TV on the AAW channel. Hey, check it out, the whole library's up there, Todd. You know that? A lot of hours of wrestling content. You're a student, that's oh. where you go study. Well, well, if I'm not mistaken, one of the last times that, uh, you know, the Windy City Classic was here in the Berwyn Eagles Club, it was Kevin Steen that was in the house as the AAW champion. Absolutely. You can absolutely. find that on the High Spots TV. You sure can, and you can see a photo of me taking a photo with him as a fan that very night. In the ring now, Rafael Quintero, a young man from Chicago, uh, making his AAW debut 11 months into his career, but he has a style that um, has a little bit of a daredevil mentality. He shared the ring with the likes of Samurai Del Sol, Laredo Kid, and Black Torus, and uh, a little bit arrogant on that cover, only able to get the two. This is AAW, my friend. You gotta love the confidence this kid came in with 11 months in, and he's coming here like he's been doing it for 11 years. I gotta love that. Cites uh, wrestlers such as Jeff Hardy and Bandito as influences in his young career. Former uh, sponsored BMX racer. Was he really? Yes. Now, uh, did he translate any of that into the ring? What do you think? I, th I think being a daredevil with a daredevil mentality translates whether it's extreme sports, whether it's professional wrestling, the list goes on and on. I guess you, it's a devil may care attitude. You know, nothing's in, nothing hurts you. Here's like a Koa coming in here. Oh, and R Mike Reed and Quinn Wittick dragging Koa Loxamano into the ring behind the ref's back. The hot shot, I think he made a tag. It's kind of hard to see from did. our vantage point. No, it's a little blurry to me, let's say that. Cobain up and over, hits a kick, and eats a lariat courtesy of the upgrade. This is a man stuck in 2003. These guys, this is a young, uh, this is a lot of young energy, a lot of brash energy in that ring tonight. I'm liking this, Tyler. I really am liking this. Oh, a triple team offense here now. What do we got What the hell here? do these three men have in mind? Look at this. What? Oh, whoa, God. Whoa, whoa. Powerbomb, clothesline combination, and Reed going for the cover, but Koa Laksamana in the break it up at the last second. I love that tag team mentality. Look at these guys. They knew right away. Jump in there, save your partner, get into the side. Look Koa. Oh. Smart move. Speaking of saving their partners, how about the unexpected return of the one called Manders back at the Windy hey, City Classic? That was great. Uh, you know, second gear crew reunited, hey, him and Mance Warner. I know, it's when those guys are in the same room together, there's another added level of fire in that room. Something happens to the fans when those guys are together. Cobain up and over, rolls through, makes the tag. In comes Loxamana. Koa, the Hawaiian hitman, the legal man, clothesline and a back elbow, taking like down Quinn Wittick. And a spinning wheel kick wipes out Quintero. Very nice. You know, for a Hawaiian guy, for somebody who's really relaxed and supposed to be beachy and relaxed, pretty, pretty rough and rugged in that tower. Reed hung up on the ropes, and Wittick 
up. Koa has him hoisted. Koa looking to drag him down. Okay, look at this, look at this. Wait, wait. Shades of Davy Boy Smith here, Tyler. Look at that. A little bit of power. And Darren fly off the top. I love it. Look at these guys go. With a flash Keep of a it. whole lot of glory. Keep your eye on Koa. He's not one to be not one he stepped up. Look at this. Look at this. Look at Koa. Oh, look at that. The froggy bow from the Hawaiian hitman as he goes for the cover. Referee on the count, and that's gonna do it. Laksamana and twist and flip victorious here on Alive. Fantastic. To the victors go the spoil, and the victors all get laid here on AAW Alive. December 30th, Windy City Classic. Guys, the pro dude, the Christmas card, it came out so great. Look out, go sell them. Yeah, yes, Sean. Yes, yes, we're gonna make money. Like I was saying, December 30th, Vega versus Mance. Is this gonna be the one? Is this gonna be the guy to dethrone you? Tell him, Davey. That dumb hillbilly Mance Warner, he's gonna be the one that dethrones me? Not on my life. Mance, you're gonna have to kill me to remove this belt from my sweet svelte waist. Cause you know what? You're nothing. You're nothing compared to me. You're half the man I am, you're half the wrestler I am. And you know what? You wanna say AEW is your home and those fans are your family? This is my home and they're my family. So you get the fuck out of my house. So Mance, December 30th, Windy City. Whoa, 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 Hey, shut up. Champ's talking here. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just have a match. Down on your luck. Haven't won any matches in the AAW. Career's in a downward spiral. This man right here, he changed my career. Made me a champion. He could do the same for you. Think about it. Mr. Avalon's turning over a new leaf in his career, but on the other end of that ring, uh, pro wrestling savior David Ali, a man making his Berwin AAW debut, has not stopped bad mouthing these fans. I'm, it, it, since he came out here, but I'll tell you what about Joey Avalon. You said something. I have a short list, Tyler. A short list of the most improved and most uh, concise wrestlers of the year who really caught my eye this year. That man is on. Absolutely, Joey Avalon, he's one of those guys that gets better each and every time he's in a ring. And I really think he's starting to find his footing here in AAW. I want you guys to go back, go to January, watch Avalon January, watch him now, and see the, see the arc, the character arc of how this man took his game up all year. Ali continuing that bad mouth and then running around the ring, getting Avalon in a precarious way. Obviously Avalon, the bigger man. He's gonna have to figure out ways to use that 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 unique uh, that unique speed and strength advantage is Ali to to his advantage here. Ali's gotta be great. Avalon knows the building. He knows oh, the race. Oh! Look at oh, whoa! Up and over the outside into the guardrail, the back of his head careening into those metal bars. It's, it's real hard to outpower Joey Avalon. Come on, you're gonna try to outpower the guy. Look at him. He's, he's a giant man. You can't outpower the guy. You gotta be smart. Ali's not getting it just yet. He's like, came in a little arrogant. He came in a little cocky, not realizing who his opponent is. Came in very arrogant, pull a piss and vinegar, if you will. Still doing it. Look at him at the crowd. Look, he's still he's still talking. I mean, God, he didn't. He bad mouthed our, our production crew for turning off his entrance music. Me. This, who does this guy think he is for, for a new guy? Hey. Oh! Flapjacked face first into the ground. And while he, you know, he's continuously talking that mess, if you will, one thing I can say about David Ali, as Avalon looking to make quick work here, going for that package pile driver. Oh, there he is. Oh, Ali finds his way out the back door, lands on his feet, and a spinning back kick. Didn't catch him too well with that one. Oh, look, look at this, look at this, hold on. Caught him just enough, looking for a springboard meteora. Again, you're not gonna out. Oh! Oh my God. Ali hot shots him on that top rope. What I was gonna say is David Ali now chops the, chops the tree down. Again, you gotta be smart. He's doing it now. He's figured it out. You gotta be tactical against Joey Avalon. You're not gonna outpower him. You're he's gonna got, outmind him. That's what's gonna happen. He's got a, a a quickness to his game. He's got very lethal strikes. Most specifically, his kicks. 
You see the stark difference here, Tyler? Joey Avalon focused on his opponent. David Ali too busy trying to talk. Look at the crowd. That's what's going to cost him if he keeps that up. Oh, Ali ducks that clothesline and heavy right hand. Good God, the follow through on that one, Trent. Look at this, Tyler. Look at this. Hold on. Saw him coming, man. He just saw him coming. Look at that. Bicycle knee from Avalon as he sends him into the ropes. Continuously throwing right hands, and now Avalon charges in. Elbow strike, bicycle kick in the face again. Ali finding a home with these strikes time and time again. Look at this now, hold on. Here comes, yeah, again, the strength advantage coming into play. You're not gonna pick him up. You're not gonna outpower him. You gotta play smart. Ali's not getting it. And Avalon puts Ali down with a uh, reverse swinging neck breaker. Now trying to get the Berwyn faithful behind him, much like the new AAW Women's Champion Sierra oh, did man, back at sure. the Jim Lyon Memorial Tournament. She sure did, Todd. What an amazing, what an amazing time that was. She's calling her shots. She's saying any, any, any athlete, anytime, any place, anywhere. You want to step in AAW? The line starts here. It starts right in front of the champ. He's tough. The second. She oh, Avalon out of nowhere with a claymore. The second she got the belt, she put it. She put herself right in the front, front of the lines. It start here and then. Go then go through the locker room. And Avalon shades of a former AAW champ puts Ali down. Ooh. Package pile driver picking up the W on a live. Three minutes, 29 seconds. You are winner, Joey Jet Avalon. You spoke about 2023 being the year of maturation from Avalon. From January till today, this is a completely different wrestler than we saw. Love to see it, I Love to see it. Avalon picking up the victory here on Alive. Hey, hey, Dub. Old Mancer went in there, and I did what I always do. I fight. But see, this right here, this trophy, this means the world. Not just to me, but the whole roster. Without this man, Jim, there ain't no AA dub. Without Danny, there ain't no AA dub. But like I said, when I win this, when old Metzer hits the pay window, and I go home with this right here, it ain't about me. See, I didn't win it for me. I won it for us. Without their people in that crowd, there ain't no AA dub. There ain't no old Metzer. People have been beating me down, saying I ain't going to be nothing my whole life. And I show them every single time. I ain't just some experiment that got over one week. I ain't just some guy that bleeds. I ain't just some guy that breaks anything he wants to break in any venue he wants to break it in. See, I don't got to put myself over on the internet. They know who I am because they believe. And I believe. And you know what? At AA Dub, I believe that old Mancer's the man. Because they said I was. David Vega. You got the gold. You got our gold. And old Mancer wants it. I want to bring it home to my people. Davey Vega, I won this tonight. You keeping my title warm, our title, and it's coming home. Vega and Mancer, AA Dub. I'm taking back what's ours. You can't do nothing about it. Sit there, dream about it, pray about it, cry about it. I'm taking what's mine and you taking a damn tater salad, baby, because I'm going to beat you down all over the vineyard, and we're getting our gold. I love it. Now I celebrate. Next time, I celebrate with more gold. Vega, kiss it goodbye. It's coming home. I missed it. David Ali, hey, David Ali, whoa, 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 hey, 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 you, hey, we just want to get a word, man, you didn't get, not a win, no win on AW Live against Joey Avalon today, just want to get your thoughts, you're still new here, trying to get, you know, what's the game plan here, man? I didn't get a win. I didn't get a win? Let me tell you something, when it comes to David Ali, I always win. 
How do I win, you're wondering? Do you suppose? It's because whenever, whenever I stand across the ring from anybody, any one person, I push them to their ultimate limit. They become better than what they were before. How did I lose? I won. I pushed Joey Avalon to his ultimate limit. He became better than what he was. I saved him. I'm gonna save AEW finally. Cause this is not the last time you've seen your savior. Alleluia. Now get out of here. Buzz off. All right, all right, all right. He's still going on with this. He's not gonna stop, he, Tyler. He's not gonna stop. I'm just glad that he's off commentary and I don't have to sit next to him anymore. Hey, I'm glad to be the one to replace him on commentary. Yeah, for same. You. Axel Rico making a return to the ring here on AAW Alive. Feature contest time. Uh, was out of the action for the last, you know, give or take seven, eight months, broken collarbone. Um, finally making his return. On, on, the, on the other side of the ring, he's got, you know, tag team partners, Sabotage Sean Logan and Trevor Outlaw. Uh, three men that, you know, they come from different backgrounds, but for some reason, this is a trio that seems like it's a formidable uh, a team that's gonna work. Just say what we're all thinking about. On one side of the ring is the most annoying people in the, <laughs> in the locker room of AAW. Hey, I have yourself. to sit next to Trevor Outlaw, show in and show out. I don't know how you do it. I mean, he's, he's grown on me. I don't know how you do it, man. Uh, I, I really don't. And then on the other side of that ring, you have everybody's favorite homie, Chico Suave, teaming with Heather Reckless and Maggie Lee. Maggie Lee and, and Chico Suave have really formed this bond over the past few months. Really have. What is, what, what is, going, is there a story there that we're not getting, Tyler? I just think that they're, they're two, two just good friends that love to have a good time, love to get the Berwyn faithful behind them, and love the spirit of competition here in AAW. I, I mean, Chico Suave has to be known as the luckiest guy in the room today. He's, tag, he's in a tag team with two of the most beautiful and talented women we've ever had. In well, the have you seen him walking around backstage? The guy can't I put have. his arms down. He's jacked right now. He's, He's massive. Sure. He's, He's got big shoulders. Look at his shoulders, man. Oh, and a drop toe hold face first into that second buckle goes Chico Suave. I'm really not happy having Axel Rico back here. Because that means I gotta hear him backstage. I gotta listen to this. Oh, and I gotta see that annoying t-shirt time and time oh, again. God, will Tony Rico put an end to this already? You know, but you gotta you got talk about Chico Suave in a positive light. This is a man that eliminated Robert Anthony from the Chi-Town Rumble. Let, let us not forget. That's true. He is he is a, a, a competitor through and through. From what I heard, he's going around telling people by proxy because he defeated the first AAW heavyweight champion ever, that he is now a unofficial AAW heavyweight champion. Yeah. A, a, an unauthorized AAW. You know, we're gonna have to check the record books on that. I'm not sure if that's that. gonna stand up in the court of law. It's not but, in there. but what is gonna stand up in the record books is Maggie Lee now now getting the tag. 2-0 and against Sean Logan. She's defeated him twice. Talk about someone who has really Set the crowd at AEW on fire in a very, very short Oh, and there's time. that. There's Sean Logan from behind. It's Trevor Outlaw with a double sledge rip him to the back of Chico Suave. And now Outlaw dragging her down to the mat. Oh, yeah, be proud of yourself. So big. I think Sean Logan's the, he, he, something, the way he looks at her, there's there's, there's weird intent here. I, I don't know, man. He, he's, been, he's been on her case <laughs> the second she walked in the locker room. Well, you, you, you remember the, the annoying kid on the playground. That's him. It's 100% him. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't have a crush on her. That's exactly, exactly where my mind was going, Tyler. But there's, the, there's an added level of arrogance. Ever since he got with the Bravo family, and now he's not the lowest man on the totem pole. You know, yeah, that's what happened. He got to have his moment. He got to do. He got to be the, the guy giving some orders up for a little bit with beef and all that. The arrogance popped in to Sean Logan that we never saw before. Oh, and a back elbow takes Maggie Lee off his feet. But speaking of the Bravo family, yeah. December 30th, the Windy City Classic, back here on at the Berwyn Eagles Club, live on High Spots TV. Tickets available at aawpro.com. Davey Vega is going to be defending that AAW championship. He sure is, you know. man. And that, you know, listen, you got He knew the bullseye's on his back. You're the most wanted man. Oh, in come the on! Devious tactics from the trio of Rico, Outlaw, and Logan stepping on the hair of Maggie Lee. This is scum. This is just scum. Somebody just set by Axel Rico. Here. What do you need to do? Pay that back. And now yours rudely no longer can be considered one of the best beards in broadcasting. Not anymore. Driving that knee into the, the back of the neck, the throat being guillotined on that bottom rope. And a clubbing shot to the back by Outlaw. Maggie Lee needs to get on her course. She's not on the complete other side. She's in, she's in Hawaii and her team's in Alaska. Oh, Come on. It, you know, she, they're she completely just caught in the wrong part of town. Chico Suave, you know, chomping at the bait to get back in this contest. Heather Reckless hasn't even been in the ring yet. Not yet. She, and she's, she's like, holding me at the mouth to get in. Look at it. 
She wants in there. And you know when Heather's in, she's going to wreak havoc in this whole, this whole ring. Snap suplex by Logan. Hooks the leg because he respects her, but only gets the count of two. He doesn't respect anything, man. Not at all. Sean Logan needs to be humbled. He really does. Oh, Maggie firing go. up from underneath. Couple she shots. She almost oh. had him. Come on. And now driven head first back into the ring again. Maggie Lee goes down. I really can't get over how we, how do we, how, who booked the most three annoying, it's like the triangle of annoyance in this corner. These three bother me more than anyone's ever bothered me in my entire life. Oh, Trevor Ella taking offense to Sean Logan going for that, going for that double underhook, which you know that comes next is the pedigree. It's not gonna get it, no way. Maggie, no way, there we go, Maggie. Maggie firing up from underneath, fighting out with everything that she's got, drops him back, first back body drop. And now, him. looking to desperately make that tag. Just watch this. There we go. Here, watch this. Watch this ball of fire come in. Look at there. Look at Oh, there. my God. <laughs> Heather Reckless hitting everything that walks in her path. Tilt a whirl. Head scissors take over on Outlaw. Very Ducks nice. the clothesline. Kicks the leg out of his leg. Oh, and grabs him by the ear. Maggie with a vicious chop Payback. to the chest. Payback is, you know what? You gotta love how Heather got in there and just took complete control of the ring. Double team Mare followed with a knee strike on both sides of the jaw. Trevor Outlaw rattled as now looking to make the tag to everybody's favorite homie, Chico Suave. The shoulders are in the air. The shoulders on the top and a high cross body block. Hits every bit of it. Chico Suave now going for the cover on Trevor Outlaw. Count a two. Chico's like a jack. Just purely jack. And the shirt can't even contain him. Oh, Trevor Outlaw tagged out. Now the legal man is Axel Rico with an arm wrench. Somebody ripped that shirt off him. Step up Enza Gurry. You see? It never ends. It never ends. What is Heather Look Reckless that. breaks the code, knees into the jaw. Logan with a backbreaker on Reckless. Keep your eyes on Maggie Lee. Sean Logan, this is why you're single. This is how you treat women. Maggie puts high on that top rope and a drop kick takes him down. Belly to belly from the yours rudely. Ring awareness is key in a six man like this, Tyler. You need to know where you are, where your opponents are, where your team is at all times. It's ring awareness, it's having the, the you know, having having your teammates back, and it's most importantly inflicting damage in times when you know that it can be inflicted. You gotta pick your moments, and right now you may call them the most annoying trio, but right now they're the most formidable trio. What they're doing is working, I'm sad to say. But here we go. Oh, reckless! Look at this. Rico is looking the rocket launcher instead, catches them with a couple boots. And some elbows. Look. Rana off the top, oh, sends him into his own that. partners. Spears him out of his boots. And now Maggie and Heather sizing up the men. Look at this. Drop Look kicks at in stereo, sending Trevor Outlaw over the guardrails. <laughs> and now Maggie just beating the ever living hell out of Sean Logan. Look on the ring apron. Tony Rican. Tony Rican on the ring apron, distracting Axel Rico. There we go. And an F, Chico puts him down. Ref got the cover. Two, three, Chico. Maggie and Reckless picking up the dub. Look at Tony Rican. Good. In seven minutes, 31 seconds, your winners, Maggie Lee, Heather Reckless, and Chico Suave. Tony Rican says you want to play these games? You want to make, you want to say you're with my wife? You want to cost me my shot in the Chi-Town Rumble? I'm spoiling your big return, big man. You want a shot at the best? Come try and take the best. Beautiful job, Tony Rican. Way to humble that annoying son of a you know what, man. Fans, we are out of time here on AAW Live, December 30th, back here at the Berwyn Eagles Club for the Windy City Classic. Tickets available on AAWPro.com. For Trent Zuberry, I am Tyler Bowles. AAW is professional wrestling redefined. Trevor, Trevor Outlaw. Dude, it's hey, raining right now. I know. I'm pacing back and forth. Can't you see I'm kind of having a little bit of a to, mental breakdown right now? Well, they told huh? me to come talk oh, to you Oh, I'm sure they did. Happened. I'm sure they did yeah. because AAW, everybody in the locker room. Am I, uh, let me ask you a question. Tell Do me. I look like a joke to you? No. Do I look like a joke to you? 
because I'm sick of this. AAW thinks, this. let's give him this partner. Aaron, whatever his last name is, broke his shoulder and he's gone. Joey Avalon left me hanging. Every person, hey, Sean Logan and Axel Rico. I didn't even lose the match tonight. Yet I'm losing my opportunities because of all these partners that AAW wants to throw at me. Well, guess what? I told y'all since day one, Trevor Outlaw does not play well with others. And what do you guys do? I get screwed out of my opportunities because of all these other bozos. So you know what? Take that to the press and laugh about it. Axel Rico, your return at the AAW, not exactly what you planned. Shut wanna... up, shut up. This was supposed to be a big return back. Six months out of action with a shoulder injury, and of course, tons and tons of messages from Tony Rican's wife. Now, Tony, I'm tired of it. You cost me my return, my big match, so I'm going to DM your wife tonight, and then you know what? The next time I'm at AAW, I want you, mano a mano, in the ring. I'm tired of this BS no more, costing each other up, just you and me in the ring. Next time, Tony, is that... Good enough announcer, guy! <laughs> Asshole Rico, you wanna do this the next time I see you? How about December 30th, right here in Berwyn?